Hey YouTube, this, this Independence Day has become a day of political bashing. I just did two vi videos about uh, Republicans and well one about the hard right and one about the moderate ones. Now I'm going to turn now I'm going to bash my own party, the Democrats. Well actually right now I'm con conservative, but after the general elections I'm going to switch o over to Democrat. So, anyway, with that in mind, turncoat Democrats are the worst. They're worse than the Republican who hates you to your face. And even I had some uh, know, knew about some Democrats who, uh, if they were able to put marriage equality to a referendum, aka my right to marry, then they they would they would su su support that and overturn it. And I'm kind of thinking to myself after I heard Tim Hoag's uh, Erie County legislator seat one say that um, I don't support it, I would put it to a referendum, and he is trying to seek an endorsement from a bunch of gays and lesbians. And he's going to put our rights to a referendum. Why the hell are you there? And then there's this Barbara Miller Williams, Babs. You're killing us. Um, she tried to, she stepped across the aisle in a way, in a gesture of bipartisan spirit, in order to sell us out to the Republicans so that they can have control of the Erie County Legislature and basically do en masse what Collins was doing. You know, be a dictator, you know, um, uh, what else did he do? Just a whole bunch of messed up stuff. He, in fact, went to court to um, to defend a tax hike, and he said that he told the line on taxes. Well, you know what? Obviously, he didn't do such a great job because he got dismissed, and now he's running for uh, a a seat in the house. I'm sorry. If I were, I just sometimes I, I want to move there so I can vote against that man. But the Republicans have a really strong lead in that area but if anything I don't know I'd rather take Bolavia over Chris Collins because that man you know what the only the main reason why a lot of people supported him was because they didn't know what the hell he had done like they didn't know the real like like depth of what he had done and speaking of Chris Collins Byron Brown let me talk a little bit about Byron Brown he made five promises to the LGBT community that, you know, hate crimes will be taken seriously and, you know, it would be a better place for LGBT people to leave. You know what? That's all that was. How many has he kept? You see that donut right there? Yeah. Yeah. You know? So, anyway, this guy was, this Byron Brown, he's up for re-election in 2013 and, you know what, if anything, right now, we just got to get that fucker out of office. I'm sorry. He has been a turncoat of the worst kind. He has... The only reason he even supported or was even at a press conference for Mark Polenkart is probably because the governor cracked down on him and said, Listen, we're Democrats. I don't care what kind of arrangement you have with Chris Collins. I'm pretty sure that... Uh, their arrangement goes a lot further than political because uh, Chris Collins almost knocked over an old, probably did knock over an old woman so that he can get to Byron Brown. And hell, if anything, if you ask me, Chris, uh, yeah, Byron Brown's gay. I don't care what anybody says. But he had a non aggression pact with this guy, kind of like the Nazi Soviet pact when, you know, the Nazis ste or steamed rolled over Poland. For, for like what three weeks the Polish army was just nothing and that's basically like what they have you know when Chris Collins was up for re-election there was nothing coming out, out of the, the Byron Brown camp because they were birds of a feather flocking together you know I call that a demublican like they're the worst kind because you know they'll step across the aisle to to um, in a in an effort to be bipartisan but really they don't really give a damn about the people like the worst thing is a is a Republican masquerading as a Democrat like Mickey Kearns he said that he would not have voted yes on marriage equality because why because he was being manipulated by Carl Paladino who Byron Brown recently gave 1.2 million dollars to renovate some dilapidated stuff in downtown Buffalo that Paladino wasn't even taken care of so it's interesting how these little um how these people kind of cross and, and like, like there's a tangled web in there and all we got to do is just light fire to it by getting these fuckers out of office but also what is Paladino doing with that 1.2 million dollars? I don't even know. And you know what? Another thing is, I'm so glad that he's not even our governor. I don't think he even had a chance to become our governor because the man, he's a businessman. Why are businessmen even in politics? I'll tell you why. Because they want to run it like a business. If you really wanted to run things like a business, you'd get rid of the schools because they're not working. You wouldn't try to improve them. 
um, you would get rid of every single thing that's not working. In other words, you'd sell the people up the river for a buck. And also, you would take care of your, 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 your rich fat cat friends. And of course, I will say it again, Citizens United, of course, that is the worst ruling to come out of the Supreme Court since... Damn, I don't even know if there is such a ter ter such something of that magnitude that I can even compare it to. And you know what? I don't know a lot about Supreme Court cases, but, well, comparatively to a lawyer, you know, although I got to get my, my ass in law school, but there are so many lawyer, uh, people graduating law schools and so little, you know, so there are like probably 20 uh, positions per, or 20 people per position. But hell, you know, if anything, ACLU, Lambda Legal, that's where I want to go. But let me jump back on the train. The reason why I want to join those 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 groups of, of those groups is because of people like that. People like the the uh, the Demublicans who sit sit there and they say, you know what, I'm for this, I'm for that. And then they get elected and they don't do shit that they promised. Now, of course, that's always been a problem. You know, that that's just the way things things are. But then again, you know what? Where, when, when are the people just going to get so fed up? They're like, you know what? We're going to cover each other. You know what? The black community is going to step in, and if you mess over the, the gay community, we're going to come together and vote you out too. The gay community, what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna hold you accountable to the elderly. And you know what? You vote to re repeal Medicare. We got you. We're going to take you out. That's what they're afraid of. That's why divide and conquer is so important because if you if you have a group of voters that are united and holding, you know, got each other's backs. I mean, really, who do the bullies go after? The people that are alone. Who do the bullies want to want to deal with? Yeah, they're not going to mess with you if you they're going to back down if 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 somebody steps up and defends you. Why? Because they're cowards. That's what these Demublicans are, if, if you ask me. Why? Because they're sitting there and all they're in it for is for themselves. They're just going to be like, you know what, I, was, I, gave, I gave a good liberal game, but I'm as conservative as, the, as, a, as a red-blooded Texan America. That's all they want. And the fact that they, they have some of, the, some of the same ideas and goals that I have, you know, it really makes me say, you know what, what the hell is wrong with you? It makes me want to, like, shake them and say, what are you doing allying with these very same people who really don't give a damn about you? The moment, the moment that they can trade you in, they're going to do that. And you know what? They're going to, like, it's almost like you're a pawn. No, you are a pawn. You are a pawn, you know, and what do you do with pawns? You sacrifice them. So, you know what, these turncoat Democrats, you know, um, that are so-called doing a good job and whatever, but the moment it's convenient for them, like Chuck Swanick, and I'm, he better have a primary, and you know what, they need, we need to get his ass out of, out of the, we need to knock him out of the primary because he's no good. He, in fact, seconds before a budget was to be passed, put in a no-bid contract, and to a terrible, there were, the, the people did a terrible job, but yet he said, you know what, we're going to go go ahead and we're going to give them this contract. So, you know what, that sounds definitely like a Byron Brown move. Thank heavens that we have a city council that opposes him on every turn because um, we, need, we need good people like that in the House of Rep Representatives that are going to oppose these radical conservatives on every turn. But when we have Democrats that are allying with this radical agenda because they you know, yeah, you know, I'm rich, you know, I, I, I benefit from a lot, lot of these tax cuts that they pushed, and I voted for it because, well, hey, do I re really care? You know, hey, get rid, rid of Social Security. I'm not going to retire on it. Yeah, um, we're going to ra raise our pay again, as if you don't make enough. And then, oh, yeah, 67 personal days. Yeah, if I took 67 personal days, I would not have a job. So, you know what, all these turncoat Democrats, yeah, you liberals out there, Keep tabs on them. I'm sick and tired of hearing about these, also these, these, these joke candidates that, that are running on the Democratic line, and we get to vote for them just because they're Democrat. Do your fucking research. Vote. Get your ass out there. If you know, hey, and if you're a felon and you can't vote, get light a fire under the asses of your family members who say that they don't vote because they're not going to make a difference. Why? Because they want it. They don't. So... Anyway, this is my rant. I know I'm jumping all over the place. I tend to do that, but I think I've relatively kept easily on 
on a decent pace, and I think I kept on a, on a good, I think I kept on track for most of it. But anyway, rate, comment, subscribe, tell me what you think, and um, see you later.